What's going on, man? It's your boy B Bird, man. Just uh, attacking with you, man. Um, yeah, just want to make a quick video, man, real quick about the Zimbabwe. Um, I'll call it the Zimbabwe betrayal. Um, you know, Robert Mugabe, you know what I'm saying, uh, pretty much got overthrew um, by basically by the military. And I think they already put a new president. I forgot the the, the guy's name. Um, but I know he already made a claim about he's going to give um, like a reparation to the white um, the white owners. I mean the white landowners from Montgomery taking it and giving it back to the native people. And he's doing. He's saying he's going to reverse a couple policies of Montgomery to favor more foreigner um, investors and stuff like that. To give them more, almost give them more uh, control or a little bit more power into Zimbabwe. Um, the thing about it, you know, Zimbabwe used to be Rhodesia. Now the, I think his name was named Henry or something like that. Um, Smith, I forgot what, I mean, I did, a, I, I read up on it. I need to reread it again. But, the founding of Rhodesia was actually by a company uh, that basically um, it was a mining company, and it was an English. It was an English mining company that actually purchased the land that what you see is called Rhodesia, that's Zimbabwe. It was a company basically controlled um, estate, but it was backing by the British. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the thing about it, you know. And the, you know, I think the guy who, who found it, he was a, a pure white supremacist that said whites will own this land. And we, they, they pretty much, they're not, they're not going to give up this land at all. So it, it came from a, you know, he, he basically ruled like a dictator. Um, you know, Mugambe was actually one of the, liber, the liberate, liberators of the Zimbabwean people. Um. So, you know, to me, it's just, it's a, this is a major, major blow uh, for really just African black people empowerment, major victory for white supremacy and coons alike, because coons was kind of, they kind of actually were part of this coup that they did. Um, actually, man, the, the military really did do nothing. They were talking about doing it for a while, but the military really didn't pull the trigger until... He named his wife as a successor. But, you know, his wife, I got to admit, his wife was looking out for her man. They, She said the vice president was going was going to set him up. She, he was going to throw, a, uh, you know, he was going to betray him. So she called him out. She blew, you know, she blew the whistle on it. And her man took action on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what a good woman's supposed to do. Um, from that, from that action, which he did, Montgomery wife, nigga, that's when the military went on and proceeded with the actual coup. Um, they try to claim to the world it wasn't a coup. It was just something to, um, it was like more of a, um, an involvement of some violation of the Constitution, but it was basically a coup. You know what I'm saying? They, they could have, they could have did this a long time ago, but the military is pretty fond of Montgomery because Montgomery was one of the, he actually founded the Zimbabwe military, and they fought the uh, fought the white, you know, to overthrow the white supremacists uh, out of Zimbabwe, or at least take control. And he put a lot of uh, programs that empowered the native Zimbabweans, the black Zimbabweans, um, from land rights to even a lot of foreigners coming into doing business. We have a lot of foreigner companies outside to do business with a lot of these African countries. They're not doing nothing with the, 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 the money. The money's not going to the people, the actual and native people. It might go to some of the crony, but not to the actual people. So, you know, this is the ugly side of capitalism. That's why I can't, I never really deny communism or, or sometime in dictator. I think they sometimes they look out for the, the benefit of the people. Sometimes capitalists will bring the greed and the evil out of people. Um, I see it every day here. I see it every day here. Um, you get money, you die. It's, 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 that's kind of like the choice you have. Um, but 
yeah, man, big blow um, for pretty much for them. But, you know, like I said, they were happy about it. I know Art got an argument with a couple people that were saying Mugambe was, was the reason why. Well, look, when you have somebody who's basically standing up against them, the power of B, they, yeah, there's going to be some consequences. Look what they try to do to Cuba. Look what they they they, they try to do in Venezuela with, with, uh, with Chavez. I mean, um, you know, it's like I said, man, if you don't work and you don't play in their field, they're going to try to cut that currency, um, that currency out. So I think the only thing about Mugambe was, you know, you got Europe and you had the United States and you had China basically putting sanction in. And uh, so it was kind of hard to really do your trade. You know what I'm saying? Among you trade among the the other African leaders. But, like, I don't, th I don't think there was really a, a cohesion with a lot of African leaders um, to really get their own trading going. Because, you know, you got the resources. They had, the Africa got the most abundant of resources. So, I mean, ain't nothing like they cannot trade. So, and you got a lot of countries now as Africa is the last, like the last resort frontier, a lot of other places have been mined out. Pretty much, is, is done. It's a wrap. So, you have a lot of countries trying to put a stake and claim into Africa, like almost like a recolonization. And basically, as we've seen, we're seeing a new recolonization of Africa. But yeah, man, just let let them know, man. We're deep, deeply blow, deeply disturbed by it. Like I said, man, the whole world, especially how everything coming in this country is really changing for the worse. So just let it be known, all right? One.